Good morning everyone. Horrible lighting in here and it's first thing in the morning. I'm just on a break from my workout. So I'll keep this short and sweet because I need to crack on. But um, I was actually meant to film this day in the life yesterday, but it went wrong because I had no sleep and the day was really fraught. And I started to film the day because I thought, no, show you like real life, but it was just horrendous because we were all so tired. So today's a new day, it's Tuesday, and yeah, I just thought spend the day with me. So I'm up, I'm in the gym, I'm doing, I've done um, a little walk to warm up with my cup of tea, and now I'm doing a half an hour HIIT workout. So I will see you guys in a bit. I don't know. Can mummy have a cuddle? Is that love? Yeah. So I'm just getting ready and I thought I would show you um, what the elf did last night. So we do the elf on the shelf and we've been doing it for six years, which is crazy. I found our little book the other day. Sorry, that was my curlers. Um, and they left this little note. We got up to mischief when you were in bed. Go and check daddy's toes. We've painted them red. Uh, so daddy had his toes painted red. <laughs> Excuse their little hats, they've got chocolate on them. I need to wash them, really. Um, but yeah, they just fly back to the North Pole every year and uh, before I can wash their hats. So I will uh, definitely do that. But yeah, we're having so much fun with this this year. Wow. Be very gentle with it, okay? Really gentle. Do you want to tell everyone what this is, Oski? Well, this is our class... Well, my uh, really project, really, because really gentle, our right. homework is to make a volcano, so Dad's making an engine at work, and then we're just going to cover it in another layer after this, and then put some um, brown paper on it, and yeah. then it, we'll paint it, and we'll be done. That's awesome, well done. Sometimes you've just got to have a TV breakfast, right Spencer? What have you got on your toast? Peanut butter, yummy. I've just got back from the school run and it is freezing. I've just been told it is going to be minus seven on Friday. I was so cold today just now and I've got a warm outfit on. I've got this massive coat on which goes down to my like ankles. So agenda for today, I'm going to watch Oscar perform for his like Christmas nativity performance at 1.30 and it's now half nine and I have got to squeeze quite a lot in. So I'm gonna go and get Simon's Christmas present. I'm also gonna get go and get all his stocking fillers. Um, but before I do that, I'm just gonna have a tidy round. Why is the house such a mess like in the mornings? Like, uh, you're, you're probably all gonna say, no, it's not, but just washing up and then, oh, this box is out because I wanted to sort it. Toys over here, buggy. Obviously all this stuff has to stay. Um, yeah, there's just stuff everywhere. So I'm just gonna have a little tidy up and then, mm, go out. I've also got something to show you. I was meant to show you this weeks ago. I actually filmed a video and I never went live. I have done hampers for my family this year and I wanted to show you the, I've got one, I've only got one finished, um, but I need to go and get some more bits for those. So I'm gonna go buy those as well. And yeah, just show you what I've got when I get back. Before, before I go out, I'm just gonna open my Glossy Box Advent Calendar. I got sent this, which I am so lucky to have. It's 13 today. And honestly, there's been such amazing things in here. So, what's this? This works. Be ready for that, ready for that close up in seconds with a mask, moisturizer, and primer all in one. 
I've had such good products in this. Um, I've had like Refi products, um, Nip and Fab. Oh, I've had uh, Color Wow. I thought I'd show you my outfit for today. Not that it's particularly exciting, um, but it's warm and comfortable. So I literally came in from the gym and had a shower and put on my Sweaty Betty leggings. I love Sweaty Betty leggings, but not for working out in. I just find them comfortable to wear every day. So I've put the, these on with, I've got a vest top underneath this black, just a, literally a standard black roll neck jumper. My New Balance trainers, and then this massive long coat. And this is basically what I wear most of the time is gym wear and a big oversized coat. I think it's like a go-to winter mum school run outfit. I've just realized I've got so many things to buy still. I did so well, like I started my Christmas shopping in November. I did all three children's um, everything and wrapped it before December even started and it's in the loft. Um, so literally done it all, so organized. Did like my grandparents hamper and then basically stopped, which is just stupid because if I'd have carried on on that same momentum, I would be done. And now I've just looked at my list and I'm panicking because I've got a very, very big family and lots of children. I'm just gonna go to my local retail park where there's a Currys and a TK Maxx and a B&M, just cause I can get quite a few bits from there. And then I will see you back with my haul and I will show you what I've I'm got. back. Um, I've literally got five minutes before I've got to leave for Oscar's performance. So I have to show you what I've got when I get back, but I was on a mission and I literally think I am almost finished my Christmas shopping which feels amazing um, so I picked up Simon's present and then I basically I basically polished off most of it in TK Maxx I got some amazing things in there um, I love the fact they do branded stuff and just really nice gifts so I will obviously show you that when I get back and then I popped to B&M and I also went to Sainsbury's but B&M was so disappointing um, I also popped into Matalan. I've got my niece her present already, but my sister had messaged this morning to say that she needed some sleep suits. So I literally picked this up for six pounds, which I thought was really reasonable. And it's in the size that she is now. We've just got home from a wonderful performance. <laughs> it lasted the whole time, so I didn't get to come back in between. And Oscar's keen to get this done, so we're gonna sit and do this. So I'm gonna have to show you the bits I got later when the kiddies are in bed. I'm gonna make them a hot chocolate, something they've been having recently with whipped cream and sprinkles and marshmallows because why not? It's the festive period. Oscar's got to go back to the school for 6.15 tonight because he's got another performance. So we're gonna have, I was meant to put a casserole in this morning but I forgot. So we're gonna have sausage and mash. Um, we've got chicken, heck chicken sausages um, and mash and veg. So it's gonna be a really easy, simple meal. I'm just gonna do the potatoes now and get that prepped.
So I've done the potatoes and then a bit of veg and then I realized there wasn't really enough for me to have these because they're quite small. So I'm just gonna have a vegetarian mozzarella burger, which I absolutely love. Um, and then I'm also just gonna make the boys lunch boxes for tomorrow. Ah, <sighs> constant carousel of lunch boxes and uniforms. One more week to go. Just got down from running the bar for Spencer. I don't know if you noticed, but um, Spencer refused to eat his dinner, which is very unusual for him. He is extremely tired. Sunday night, he didn't get any sleep. Um, he was awake loads in the night. Just, I think he was overtired, so he woke up and thought it was playtime. I don't know. Strange how children's uh, body clocks work, isn't it? But he hasn't caught up yet, so he's very, very tired. I just let him walk off and come back when he was ready. He did come back after I'd stopped filming, but we'd both finished by that point. So he started eating his dinner, but then Oscar got the laptop out and started watching something, and Spencer was like, oh, I wanna watch Bubble Guppies. So I wouldn't ordinarily do it. Um, I don't like screen time at meal times. So I've let, I let him have the iPad, and then I fed him his dinner, and I got about three quarters, is it? quarters of it into him. So I'm just gonna go, I think he's having some pudding. I'm just gonna go. See, he's, I'm gonna have to go because <laughs> he's having a meltdown about something. And then me and Oscar are gonna try and do his volcano for 10 minutes and then it's bath time and bedtime by six, I reckon. and Oscar has gone to his evening Christmas performance. So I thought I'd quickly show you the things that I got today, not everything, because it will probably be too long and it's not a whole video. Um, but I thought I'd show you that. And also I've just got some hampers behind me. So I actually did a separate video on this, but it never went live. And basically we have been really cutting back costs this year um, on Christmas presents. I usually get absolutely mad. Um, I can spend up to £100 an adult and we have a big family and there are so many presents that we just decided to cut back. So I had this idea that I was going to do hampers and as I said earlier in the video, I was really, really good at getting like one hamper completely finished and that's my grandparents and basically it's just a crate filled with all their favourite food and drink. It's also got like a book token voucher in there, it's got some cosmetics just all the things I know they love because she never wants for anything, I say she, my grandma, doesn't ever want for anything. So then I was like, right, I'm gonna do it for everyone else. So 
I've got my mum's here, which is really random, um, kind of half half done. Um, and I picked up a couple of things to go in it today. So I got this basket from, I think I got this one from Aldi and it comes with the like shredded stuff in the bottom, which I obviously need to take out. And at the moment we've just got like some treats and some really nice socks, a nice little star dish, which I'm gonna fill with chocolates, um, some nice hand soap. I picked up this gorgeous mulling syrup from a Christmas fair, which I thought was really nice. So you can add it to like cider, wine, apple juice. Um, and then I also got this gorgeous um, cosmopolitan mixer set. So you just add vodka to this and it's got loads of berries and sugar and just gorgeous stuff in it and a little strainer. And then I got the vodka today to go in it. Um, and I'm gonna get them a voucher of some sort, like maybe like a restaurant voucher. Um, but basically I've spent about 60 pounds on these hampers. So it's only 30 pounds an adult, which is a huge difference. Uh, based on what I normally spend. So without further ado, I thought I'd just show you the bits I got today. So I've got this box, which came from Home Bargains, as did the little set with the cellophane and the um, ribbon and the little straw stuff. So I've just put all their bits in there. So their hamper is a bit more on the home edition side, um, just because they're really into their like homeware so I managed to pick up a Seychelles White Company candle in the sale. So these are normally £20, but there was 20% off. So I got that for £16 when Black Friday was on. Um, I picked them up some hand towels. I've always noticed that they've always got like different hand towels in their bathroom. Uh, they both got some socks. I always love these box socks. I just think they're so well presented and they're really nice. So some animal print ones for my stepmom and then just some kind of abstract print ones for my dad. And they're, they're quite reasonable. Um, they were eight pounds, the women's, and they were 10 pounds, the men's, which is good. I then got this nice frame, which I'm going to stick a photo of the children in um, because I know that they'll love that. I then got this bowl. I mean, who doesn't like a new serving bowl? I just thought it was absolutely beautiful. And I love all of TK Maxx's like crockery. I think it's beautiful. That was five pounds, I mean, it's just gorgeous, um, so I really liked that. And I may fill that with, I got them two boxes of chocolate. So I got them some salted caramel lint truffles and some vanilla Belgian seashells because my dad loves these. Um, so I've got those to go in there as well. As I say, they've already got the mulling syrup. And then these last two things are really random, but also really useful. This is a little spoon rest for when you're making dinner or cooking. You can rest your spoon on the side. And I really liked it. I would definitely use it. And we have similar style on some things. So I know that that's a really useful and nice little gift. And then this is super random. But again, something I would be like, oh, that's a cool little gift. Um, it's fine salt with truffle, which I think sounds amazing. I think that could really make a dish if you were making something quite basic and you just sprinkled a bit of that on the top. So I just thought, well, I'll stick that in there for good measure. Um, so all in all, I think if I tot it up, so all in all, that hamper came to £70 plus the hamper, so about 75 which again is a big saving on what I'd normally spend. And I actually think it's really personal. So... I've really enjoyed buying these hampers. Obviously they do require thought and um, time, which I know some people don't have. Um, so it can be a bit of a faff, but I started early on the other one, so it hasn't seemed like stressful at all. And I did 90% of theirs today in TK Maxx, which I was really surprised that I didn't think I would get that done, but I'm really, really happy with it. I can't wait to wrap it up and get it finished. So. I don't have anything else to show you after showing you all those hampers. I'm gonna to be totally transparent with you. I'm sat about to edit my video and I can't stop eating these celebrations. Chocolate, chocolate is not a big thing for me, but miniatures where you get a little bit of a taste of everything, I love. Anyway, spot my Christmas tree that's finally been decorated in the background. So I'm just gonna sit and edit this video Oscar is going to be back in about 10 minutes, so I'm going to make a start, then read him a story, um, 
put him to bed. I really want to finish editing this tonight, but me and Simon have started watching MasterChef recently and we love it. So I'll do as much as I can, but thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you. And I shall see you soon.